Yo, what's up guys? It's Diedrich Webb, and these are the brand new, just released Mackie SRT 215s. Yes, behind me right here are the Mackie SRT 215s. The whole new, brand new line from Mackie, the SRT series, is here. Mackie was kind enough to go ahead and send me out early a pair of the Mackie SRT 215s so that I could film this video and post it for you guys the day that they are released. So, I'm super excited. These are the 215 models, so they have the 15-inch woofers in them. They have a color display on the back of them. They boast a 1600-watt amplifier peak power that's pretty impressive and they have an app so that you can control the speaker from the app and control all the functionalities you can tune them etc so let's go ahead and let's dive on into it the first thing we're going to do is unbox the speakers this is actually filmed after the fact so we're going to unbox the speaker show you all the things that come in the box which is not much at all because they're very plug and play that's what they advertise them to be plug and play so i'm going to unbox them we're going to go through all the specs and functionality of the speakers we're going to go do an initial test with a db meter so we can listen to them see how loud they are and we're going to do a blind comparison to another speaker that I am quite familiar with and you guys know very well on the channel so let's jump on into the unboxing so let's get to the unboxing I got the handy dandy utility knife right here and let's go ahead and unbox this speaker little tip here if you've never unboxed the speaker what you need to do is actually flip it upside down first open the bottom then you flip it back onto the bottom you open the top and then lift the box off and there you have your speaker. So inside the box, we have the instructions right here. We have the speaker, obviously, and we have the power cable. Woo! All right. And this is the Mackie SRT215 fully unboxed. And what's nice is it's plug and play. So all we gotta do now is plug in our power cable and we're off to the races. And before we get into the specs on this speaker right here, or these speakers right here, I gotta compliment Mackie on the look of the speaker. This thing looks awesome. It's got this nice notch up front, a nice big modern grill, not a very flashy logo. It's got these nice triangles on the bottom. It's just a very modern, sexy looking speaker, and it reminds me a lot of my JBL SRX series speakers. Very similar design. So, moving on into specs. So, this right here is the 215 model like we've talked about earlier, and we've also talked about how the lineup has multiple speakers. So, in the SRT line from Mackie that they've unveiled, there is a 210, a 10-inch, a 12-inch, a 15, and an 18-inch subwoofer. The 15 here is going to be the premier flagships, top of the line speaker in the lineup. So that's why we're going through it right here. All of them boast similar specs, so I just kind of wanted to mention that before jumping into the speaker right here. All of the speakers, including this one right here, have a 1600 watt peak class D amplifier. This one right here splits that power up between our 15 inch woofer down here. 1400 of those peak watt power is going to our woofer. This is a 15 inch drive woofer down here. We have a 1.4 inch tweeter up here that's getting 200 watts of that power. So that's kind of how the power distribution is on this speaker and the max SPL on this speaker is 133 decibels build wise obviously up front we have a big metal front grill here and then the rest of the speaker is made out of a plastic polycarbonate material which is why the speaker only weighs 37.1 pounds the speaker has three handles one on either side to pick it up it also has one on the top here and the speaker features fly points so we have two fly points on the top right here and we have a fly point on the back right here behind this little thing it also has feet on either side so you can use it as a monitor for either side it doesn't matter which way you can rotate it and have it in a monitor position on either side while I'm on the bottom here we have two different pole mounts one is a straight fire out one is a tilt down and with those specs out of the way we move to the inputs and outputs on the back so on the back of the speaker going from top to bottom at the top here we have the full color display that we're gonna get into when we fire this up channel inputs we have channel 1 with a quarter inch XLR combo channel 2 we have the same quarter inch XLR combo and then channel 3-4 this is for your 3.4 millimeter or your aux your eighth inch headphone jack input or your Bluetooth input as well then below it we have three different individual outputs kind of an interesting strategy right here but we have the direct output so this follows channel 1 only out channel 2 out most people are just gonna be using the mix out for their purposes coming down the speaker the last thing is a power on and off switch 
and a IEC input. Good to see. So now let's plug this guy in, look and see what we got on the color LED display on the back, a little bit of settings there. Then let's just jump on into a sound test right after that, and then we'll follow it up by going through the settings on the app and how you can link speakers and stuff like that. So let's go through it. So if we flick the power on, we can quickly look at our menu. So first off, we have a high contrast display here color display full color so right now i have this is our mixer layout so we have our master volume over here so we can go from zero all the way down the negative so it goes only to zero and you can lower the decibels from there if you tap in we can go to all of our different settings so you can see right there's the main level the bluetooth level input two input one bluetooth also is for the three and four aux jack as well so you can go through all of them we can also go down to the bottom here we can scroll around to those so this is going to be your eq for each band as well as your high pass or on each band so we can go back now and so that's the same for all three of those inputs so we can go and do our individual EQ on each one of the bands we go all the way to the bottom right here we can go to the main menu this is where we're on mixer we can go to mode we can put on flat live speech club monitor all those different options nice to see that we have our sub mode so if you're working with a DR sub so like the DRM sub there's an option for that. Mix out to full range. You can do variable, so you can set your variable crossover. So if you're working with a sub that has 100 hertz crossover, you can set that easily in here as well. We can back out of that. Delay, so we can set the delay of the speaker in both milliseconds, so we can adjust the milliseconds and it tells you how many feet or how many meters that is if you need to do delay. We also have Bluetooth, so this is where we can pair our device very easily. This is also where we can do a little bit of linking, so this is where we can link speakers. We can look more into that though in the app because it's a little bit easier in there. Configure, this is where you can get into the nitty gritty details. So you can set channel 1 as a line or a mic, you can set channel 2 as a line or a high Z. The front LED, we can turn that light on, off, or it could be a signal light so that it'll indicate if it has signal with the front LED. We're going to leave it on. LCD to screen. So we can set it to high or we can set it to dim or we can set it to off. So that's this screen right here. We're going to leave it on high. We have a lock. So if you want to lock it, you can do that. I on the other hand am not going to lock it. So if you wanted to use these for rentals, you could 100% lock the speaker out so that people can't mess with the settings. Uh, we have our Bluetooth settings here for auto connect. You can set auto connect to be on or off. You can set auto link to be on, off or selected. So if you want to auto link these speakers and we have about with the resolution so this is where you can see all the information on the speaker including the temperature of the speaker which is really cool to see so that is everything on the settings so i think now we get to fire up the speaker all right i got the speaker set up for the sound demo and before i get started with the sound demo i wanted to point out two things two things real quick first off i've already done it on this speaker but Guys, when you buy DJ speakers, like every manufacturer does it, remove that sticker. That sticker's there for advertisement purposes, um, for to tell you what's on it. Remove it. Please do not leave those on your speakers. I hate seeing set up pictures of, from DJs that have those on them. Remove them. Second off, the LED on the bottom of the speaker. This is a big green bar, and I'm not entirely a big fan of that, especially at weddings. So I would go into the settings and turn that off like we looked at earlier. Uh, I, I'm not a big fan of the green. If it was a white, I'd leave it on. Uh, me personally, I've shut off all the LEDs on all of my speakers, all my JBL, my other stuff. All the LEDs on the front of them are shut off. I want my speakers to blend into the backdrop. The less light they have, the darker, just make them blend into the backdrop. Anyways though, let's get to the sound setup. So I'll walk you through what I have set up here, but uh, we're gonna test these speakers and I'm gonna give you my personal first take opinion of how they sound. And I might be comparing them real quick to a couple other speakers that I have here in the shop. All right guys, so here is the setup for the test. Now we're only running one speaker, so I have XLR plugged into channel one. I have the knob set to unity gain and our master is also set to unity. Unity just means zero decibels. It means it's not adding anything, it's not subtracting anything from the signal I am sending the speaker. Eventually we'll mix out of the speaker into our second Mackie over here, but we can actually turn that off because we're only gonna be testing this one right here. Now I have this hooked up into my whole entire audio rack system. If you've never seen this before, I got a whole video Video on it. So what I'm doing is I'm playing the high quality files I have on Spotify into the Yamaha MG12, which then goes to our drive rack, which I'm going to be setting the drive rack to zero decibels and turning the graphic EQ off so that we're flat to the speaker. We're going to test it initially on flat and then I'm curious to see what club mode sounds like versus the flat mode. All right, so I have the audio setup ready to go. I have my decibel meter because we're going to see 
how loud the speaker actually gets. And uh, let me give you my initial impression. So let me cue up some music and uh, let's turn it up. Again, this is just one speaker. Let's see how loud it gets. What are you doing? That wasn't even clipping. All right, so I just changed it over to uh, club mode So I'm curious to see how it sounds on club mode versus normal mode uh, So far the sheer output of this thing is insane now I'm a little hesitant on the audio quality and I think it's because it's on flat It sounds like a very flat signal So I want to do a little more testing a little bit of tuning here and see if I can get the sound the way I wanted the sound I'll get back to you, but enjoy some really loud this thing is insanely loud. I'm pushing 113 decibels, uh, standing about six feet away right now. That's impressive, and I haven't put a clip yet. It's still not a clip. It's about 80, 90% on the back on the digital readout. It's still not a clip, so. So, my personal opinion on the sound. So, listen to it. First off, this thing gets, it gets loud. Holy crap. I'm, I am amazed that the amp was not clipping at that level. So, the max reading I got on the decibel meter, I was getting 118 to 119 peaks. It was able to consistently produce 110 to 115 decibels at 6 feet. And that was nearing clip. So, a lot of times on those peaks when it hit like 118, 119, that was on clip. So, Pretty damn impressive in terms of the output that this thing is producing. Secondly, sound quality. And this is something we can get into in the app. You can really dial in this sound a lot with the app. You have a lot of flexibility to make this speaker sound really good. I don't like the flat mode. I switched it to the club mode. It sounds a lot better, but it does need a little more tweaking, which I'm going to do in the app next. For this being a 15-inch plastic speaker that weighs 37 pounds, this is very impressive on the output and in the sound quality department. This is a very impressive speaker. I am truly impressed with this speaker right now. Like, look, as soon as I turn it on, I've been, I've, it's, it's been below my mind how loud this speaker is getting. Just for the hell of it, I'm going to turn on both of them, and we're going to see how many decibels we can get, and I'm probably gonna blow my eardrum. That is so loud. You guys are nine feet from the speakers and that was just producing 113, 114 decibels. All right, so I have the app pulled up on my phone. I'm connected to this speaker right here in front of me. And uh, basically inside the app, this is what you got. So you can go through all of your different channels on the mixer of the speaker itself. We can raise, we can lower the volume, we can mute those channels, we can set our high pass gain right here. And we have a three band EQ here at the top so we can adjust it however we would like. Most people are gonna go for this smiley face curve like this. That's mostly the most typical way possible so you can edit each channel individually or we can go to the main and click settings here and this is where you have all the settings of the speaker that you have on the back so you can set your mode live speech club monitor we can set our subwoofer high pass we can scroll down and select that one or we can turn it off completely we can go to our bluetooth memory so we can store settings on the speaker so if we want to store the setting we can do that and on the front here this is where you can turn on and off that led on the front as well as set the lcd screen basically all the settings that you have inside the speaker you have on your phone as well you can set your time delay right here as well there's an about section as well so you can go through and do all of the different options that you would want. You can do your Bluetooth settings in here to link it. Um, lots of different settings and it, it's all on your phone, which is dope. So you can basically adjust your speakers from your phone. You can monitor them. You can hook this up to an iPad and monitor them from there. Works on Android, works on Apple. Pretty dope. I, I enjoy it. It's awesome to see features like this on the phone and basically making it more user friendly to be able to access the settings on your speaker. Make it just overall a better system to use. So that's great. I love the app. It's easy to use. Um, yeah. Right now, I'm extremely impressed with the Mackie SRT215. This, this is a lot of output, and it sounds pretty good. It, it just irked me. I need to do a comparison. So we have another speaker here. This speaker happens to weigh 63 pounds, made out of solid wood. It's also a 15-inch speaker, and for the sake of being nice to Mackie and everything, uh, you can't see what speaker it is. There's a scrim on top of it. So I'm really curious to see the difference between the two of these. So without further ado, I'm going to turn on either speaker and uh, we'll see what they sound like. And we'll do a little decibel comparison and I'll give you my personal opinion. And it'll help me make my overall sound opinion because I'm very familiar with these speakers and these are brand new. So this will give me a nice A to B comparison to give you guys a little more feedback on what I think on the new Mackie SRT215. Oh!
Just for a quick reference on that sound test you just heard, I did dial in both speakers to be at the same decibel level, so there was no difference in terms of one was louder than the other. What you were hearing was the raw audio coming through the camera microphone and then being processed on YouTube. So I don't know what it sounded like on your guys' end. Here's the comparison for me. One, output wise, they're damn near the same. I'm very, very, very impressed with how loud that Mackie SRT215 gets. Secondly, when it comes to audio quality between the two of these, like I said, I'm very familiar with the audio quality of this speaker right here, was not too much on the Mackie. And really, I'm impressed with how well the Mackie performed. On the highs and mid notes, very similar performance. I'm like no edge to either or speaker. I'm very impressed. I would take either or speakers. When it comes to the bass department, and this is mainly because Mackie has a plastic cabinet, the wood box has a little bit of a deeper bass to it. In fact, the frequency response of that speaker is a little bit lower. Now on the lower notes, I would give the edge to the wood cabinet. And I mean, this is a 63 pound wood cabinet speaker. It did have a little bit more punchy, deeper bass. That's no fault of the the Mackie SRT, that's purely on the fact that it's a plastic cabinet. Overall though, if you're gonna be using tops, most of the time you're gonna be using subs, so the bass isn't too big of a consideration. Overall though, I gotta say, Mackie, that's a hell of a speaker. That thing is loud and very, very impressive. I'm I'm, I'm probably gonna start using them at some events because that thing is light, it's easy to transport, doesn't weigh much, and I can take it to a lot of events. I can throw them in the back of my truck easily. And with all of that complete, that right there wraps up my initial unboxing, first review, and extensive testing of the brand new Mackie SRT215 speakers. Overall, this is a very impressive speaker from Mackie. I am very impressed with the output power that they're pushing out of this speaker right here, especially being only 37 pounds. The output power is on par with other speakers in its category, and the sound quality overall is very good. The highs, the mids are nice, they sound great. The only area that it lacks in, and it's honestly me nitpicking because the sound of the speaker is incredible. Especially when I first turned it on, I was very impressed with the overall sound quality of the speaker. When you A to B it though against a wooden cabinet, you notice a little bit of a lack in bass. And honestly, that's purely due to the plastic cabinet, which is where you're getting the lightweight. So it's trade-offs. If you want the lightweight, you're gonna lose a little bit in the low end because it's not a solid wooden box. But like I mentioned, most of you will probably be using these with subs. I'll probably be using these with subs. So the little bit of lack in bass is gonna be made up for with the sub, so it's not a big deal. Overall, impressive, impressive speaker. I can't say it enough. I'm very impressed with it. The app functionality just adds another level to the speaker. Being able to control it with the app, the colors display on the back is really easy to read. It's very intuitive. Overall, wonderful job, Mackie. I'm very impressed with these speakers and I can't wait to get them out to events whenever we get back to them. And that right there, guys, wraps up this video. Thanks again, Mackie, for sending out the brand new SRT 215s for me to check out, to review, and get this video out to you guys so that you guys are informed and you get to know about the brand new lineup. And if this speaker is anything to speak for the whole entire lineup, this whole entire new series, the SRT series from Mackie with the app functionality, with the color displays, the output power, the lightweight of these cabinets these things mean business and these are going to be a great option for a lot of professional DJs out there so with that said don't forget to hit the thumbs up button if you enjoyed this video don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you're new around here turn on post notifications follow me on Instagram so you see all the behind the scenes footage I actually teased this speaker on my Instagram so if you're not following me on Instagram go do it over there and like always guys keep them records spinning and I'll see you guys next time peace